there's a news story that I, I want to talk to you about, but it's it's very difficult because it involves a lot of maybes and what ifs. Now, there's a massive amount of very complicated science behind this. And this is not a proven technology. Okay, so I want to make that very clear. This is not a proven technology. There is no, you know, absolutes or conclusions here. The reason I bring this up for a video is because one, it's incredibly interesting, and two, it's incredibly frightening if it works. Okay, there is a Dr. Pius. Now, he owns the patents on several very highly advanced technological theoretical works, let's just say. He's got th theories on how certain devices are going to accomplish certain things, including basically an anti-gravity device, what would essentially be what is commonly perceived to be an alien UFO and how that would work. Now, he's got another one. Now, this guy just happens to work for the U.S. Navy, which is already frightening in and of itself. They are working on a device, which I admit I do not understand the science behind it, could theoretically rewrite reality. In other words, it interferes with the natural flow or existence of space-time. Now, space-time is, is a difficult thing to explain, and there are numerous videos on YouTube that could explain it far better than I ever could. Essentially, this device, if they ever get it to work, I'm going to stress that right now, this does not work. It is merely something that exists as a patent that is being worked on for the U.S. Navy, the U.S. government. This machine, theoretically, would have the ability to erase things from existence. This would make the nuclear bomb, and any size nuclear bomb that you could ever have, obsolete. This device, if harnessed to its full potential, could erase things from history, whole countries, even planets from existence. Not just so that they no longer exist, but they never did. Now, I know this sounds very fantastic, and extraordinary claims require extraordinary evidence. Unfortunately, I don't have extraordinary evidence. I do have a link to something that explains it in much more detail, and then a link to the patents owned by this individual, and the potential for this machine that does not yet exist. What's concerning about this, other than the fact of being able to rewrite reality itself, is that not just the United States, but China is working on this device as well. So you have the two primary powers in the world competing on being able to build devices that can literally change reality. Now... I know this is a lot to take in and to even believe, because I know this is very fantastic, and I don't fully understand all of it myself, or, or really much of any of it, and to be perfectly honest. It has to do with uh, electromagnetism and stuff. So, again, I'm not a scientist. I don't have a degree in physics or anything. But I did want to make a point about this. Uh, this is essentially going to be no different than the mutually assured destruction principle of the nuclear bomb, except instead of bombing something, you're erasing it from existence, which is already frightening, a frightening concept in itself. The reason we have this situation is because we have capitalism. You have capitalist entities that are constantly competing with each other because that's the very nature of capitalism is competition. Certain groups of capitals will inevitably form some kind of a state to protect their mutual interest, that being copyright laws, patent laws, protecting private property rights, etc. And this, once it reaches a certain stage of monopoly, as theorized and proven by Vladimir Lenin, 
will then seek to expand beyond their own borders by force. And thus we have capitalism, uh, pardon me, imperialism, in which international capitals are competing with each other using the state as a weapon. Now this is no different with China as well. The capitals in China are competing with the capitals in the United States. And it's a case where if one gets the bomb and the other doesn't, you know what's going to happen. So this is really no different in that regard. And again, I do apologize for the vagueness of this video because the technology is so far beyond my understanding that I could not claim to get it. I understand this is rather fantastic, and I, I frankly don't expect you to really believe me, but I will provide as much information as I can. And again, the only reason I bring this video, bring this up as a video, is because it's incredibly interesting and also incredibly frightening. Because I think this is an example of the old expression, our, or to paraphrase, because I don't remember the exact expression, our technological advancement has outpaced our moral advancement. I think that would be the best way of putting it. So uh, check out the stuff in the description if any of that makes sense to you. Let me know in the comments section below. Thank you for watching. If you like this program, then please head over to my Patreon page and set up a monthly donation. It's your donations that keep this program running. Also, if you would like, please rate, comment, subscribe, and share in various social media.